Hey guys, it's IO Guard here. So before we starting the video, please to my channel. So the iPhone 16 Pro and iPhone 16 Pro Max. While we likely won't get any official details regarding them until September 2024, we have been reading some relevant rumors posted by credible leakers. Below you will find everything we know so far about the iPhone 16 Pro and 16 Pro Max. The iPhone 16 Pro models will likely launch around mid-September 2024. That's assuming Apple doesn't face any delays or change its typical schedule for whatever reason. If the Cupertino firm doesn't introduce a price hike, you can expect the base iPhone 16 Pro to cost $999, while the 16 Pro Max could start at $1,999. As always, Apple will also offer higher-end configurations with extra storage for a higher price. Apple typically makes major iPhone design tweaks once every three years or so. Considering the iPhone 15 Pro models just adopted the titanium frame with round edges, we don't expect the iPhone 16 Pro to jump to a different material or feature a drastically different design. And just like the 15 Pro models, we expect the iPhone 16 Pro and 16 Pro Max to offer an action button though the company will likely switch to a capacitive button rather than stick to the mechanical one. Additionally, there have been rumors about another capacitive capture button that could debut in 2024. We expect the new button to be on the power button side, while the action button would remain right above the volume buttons. We expect the display to retain the existing dynamic island and most of its specs. The big change, however, could lie in its size. Unlike the 6.1-inch iPhone 15 Pro and 6.7-inch 15 Pro Max, the iPhone 16 Pro and 16 Pro Max could go for 6.3 and 6.9 inches, respectively. That's a 0.2-inch increase for each device. In the camera department, the ultra-wide lens may finally receive a boost from 12 MP to 48 mm B. This change was first applied to the main lens when the iPhone 14 Pro launched. Furthermore, Apple may bring the iPhone 15 Pro Max's exclusive 77mm tetraprism lens to the smaller iPhone 16 Pro. This would enable those with the smaller Pro iPhone to utilize the 5x optical and 25x digital zoom. Meanwhile, the iPhone 16 Pro Max may offer a 300mm super telephoto lens, which could allow users to zoom beyond 5x in the optical department or 25x in the digital one. We expect the iPhone 16 Pro and 16 Pro Max to introduce the A18 Pro chip, though we still have no idea how capable and power efficient it'll be. It's safe to assume, nonetheless, that it will also be manufactured through the 3 n nanometer process. Otherwise, we expect the iPhone 16 Pro models to feature a connectivity boost, with rumors pointing to Wi-Fi 7 support. Apart from that, the iPhone 16 Pro models may feature stacked batteries, which could increase their capacity and lifespan. Furthermore, users may be able to utilize faster 40W wired and 20W MagSafe charging, an increase from 20W and 15W, respectively. Whether these phones will support reverse wireless charging, however, is yet to be seen. The iPhone 16 Pro and 16 Pro Max being many months away, there's still plenty of time for more leaks to surface. This means that the existing details we've listed may turn out to be inaccurate. Either way, it appears that the upcoming Apple flagships will at least introduce some welcome changes, such as the new capture button, larger displays, superior Wi-Fi connectivity, sharper ultra-wide lens, and more. Of course, the iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max remain the best smartphones from Apple for the time being, and you may want to grab a unit if you can't wait for around a year. Please subscribe to my channel, inshallah. I will see you in the next video.